1,000. Joining me in the studio, former political editor at The Sun, George Pascoe Watson, now founding partner at Shillings Communications. Um, good to see you, George. Um, it, look, it's a, we've talked about it before. This latest report tells us a lot of what we already knew, but to see it all written down and documented in this way is harrowing. Well, the first thing to say, of course, is uh, huge, huge commiserations to uh, her family, and, and we never forget that. That's the critical thing Indeed. here. But, but of course, um, the really shocking thing for me, and I think many of our viewers today, will be this finding that Wayne Cousins should never have been a police officer in the first yeah. place. Way back in 2002, he was doing things for which he should have been then, you know, criminalised. And course. all the way through his career, it is known that fellow officers had suspicions about him, even sort of had crude nicknames for him. Yeah, this is yeah. not somebody who was hiding in plain sight in the Indeed. sense that people kind of knew yeah, that yeah. he was dodgy. Uh, and, and I guess the concern that we have on a wider note, Ian, is never has policing and the trust in policing mm. been more important uh, than now in this country with all that's yeah. happening, with protests, with, you know, all the challenges we have to face. Sure. And every police officer out there that you and I know are working super hard to try and do the job and, and yep. keep the public safe. They take pride in the badge, they take pride in the uniform. Uh, and for a situation like this to emerge is really bad for them. It makes it harder mm. for them to police. Uh, but it also is a serving a reminder that there are people out there potentially in police service today yep. who could still have you know, got around the vetting system that Indeed. exists. The vetting system needs to change for us for police officers and for policing. Yeah, I think Mark Rowley made the point that, you know, there, there could be half a dozen officers a week in court, you know, if you went through all of those complaints or allegations that are kind of out there. I think with Cousins, George, I mean, there's two things here. Firstly, how did he get into the police in the first place? Because there was enough to flag it up to begin with. And then how he remained in the police as well, because there were also incidences while he was a police officer. Now, I know and you know that there's a huge pressure on policing. There's a, you know, a search for many thousands of more officers to, to increase the number of police mm -hmm. on the streets. So recruitment has been a problem. There's yeah. no question about that. But that is not a reason to turn a blind eye or to you know, be slack in some way about the behaviour of a police officer. Yeah. And we all know that, and police officers themselves know that. Yeah. It is very, very worrying that this has happened. Now, I hope that people can move swiftly in the police service to try and change the vetting system yep. to make sure that anybody who uh, wishes to be a police officer is properly interviewed, that their background has gone through. Uh, these are risks we cannot take with the public yep. safety. Um, the, the question we're throwing out this afternoon, do you still have trust in the, uh, in the police? I mean, I do still have trust in the police, and I know it now sounds like a bit of a tired old cliche when you say, well, it's a few bad apples. I genuinely believe that proportionately it is. I mean, the, the numbers are always harrowing, and the bar rightly is higher for, for expectations of good standards and practice with the police. I get all of that. But pretty much every officer I speak to, whether I'm work, doing some work with the police or whether... Uh, it's an officer calling in, are all as disgusted by this man and others like him as we are. Uh, and we are right, I think, to trust the police, and I think it's important for us to remember that every single day there are over 100,000 police officers working really hard uh, in our towns and cities and neighbourhoods yeah. to try and keep uh, people safe, and that's their job, and they do a pretty good job. Of course... 99% of the work that they do, they never get praised for, and we True. never highlight on shows like yeah, this. Yeah. We don't go around saying, oh, look at the great job that PC so-and-so yeah, yeah. did today. So we have to bear in mind that the lion's share of the work they do is great work, and we should celebrate it and support yeah. them. But where there cannot be room in, in the police service for this kind of failing, and, and I would hope that every police officer and their boss agrees with that and takes the yeah. steps to keep everybody safe. Totally agree.